different than you would experience anywhere else. Um, just to see all your friends and family and um, just the whole town kind of coming up behind you and uh, supporting you. Um, it's a really good feeling. San Clemente is a special place and our city comes together, our city council and our sheriff's department, our board of trustees, our superintendent all come out to support the high school and to really celebrate being part of San Clemente. What this brings is community pride. It is a branding of San Clemente as a special, special place. There's really nothing like it. This is an opportunity that we have to showcase our students, our talent, our teams, and come together as a really unique community. Um, San Clemente is a great town, you know, one town, one team. Um, it's great to be a part of them. Uh, we have a lot of alumni come back for the game, so it should be fun. incredibly tight-knit community, which is, I think, why we continue on this tradition of having the parade. I know where I grew up, we didn't have any parade, and so I think it's just a, a sense of community, a sense of support, and that's why we, uh, we all get out and, and celebrate our students. We're all in this together. It's a small town, but we make it home with things like this, and uh, I think this year it's going to be super successful. And it just amazed me to see this entire city shut down. All the community members, alumni, past and for, uh, former players, and all different sports come out and support the kids. And to me, that's pretty special. It's not something you find anywhere in Southern California at all. My dad um, was battling with uh, stage four brain cancer since November of last year. And, so, and he's made it to all my, all my games so far. And this is the first game in my 10 year career of playing football that He's going to be watching from different seats up there in heaven. And I, I just miss him so much. And I'm, just, I'm going to do everything I can to make him proud. You know, Aiden made it very clear to me the day he passed away that, Coach, I want to play in the game on Friday. I want to play in his honor. And there's no doubt that Michael's looking down on, on, on Aiden and the rest of the team. And, uh, you know, Aiden will do his best to live up to the Colson name and represent this program in, in a tough game tonight. Standing room only on our side tonight to watch you play for 48 minutes of Triton football. The stage is set, gentlemen. Make it yours. Let's go put on a show. What do you say? Outside. Go, Nick. Go, Nick. Go, Nick. Touchdown. One. One. Good job, baby. Good job, O line. Come on. Good, Caden. Watch the screen. Got him. Stay back! He gone! He gone! He gone, baby! Touchdown! Wessel, 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 Wessel! Do not be content, do not be happy. They're a quality team. They're gonna make adjustments and we're gonna make ours. Do not be content, do not be happy until that game's done.
ICQ, one play at a time. Run it. Touchdown. So you gotta tuck it in. You roll it in, that's what's gonna happen. I got you. Thank you. That's good. Okay. Then take a team here. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. They got plenty of time, coach. It's not a 10 point game, there's nine minutes left, two timeouts. Throw the back. On. Cut that! Oh. Hey. Unbelievable, guys. Come on. Get in the huddle. Get in the huddle. Hey, knuckleheads, can we end this game? Can we? Offense is doing a great job trying to end the game. We're letting the game continue on here. There it is. Pick. He got it. I mean, we all know he's up there watching us right now, and he was a great dad. He was always on the sidelines cheering us on, and we just really wanted to win this for him. Uh, well, we knew coming into this week, like quality opponent, 6-0, and we're 5-1. and It's going to be a brutal matchup. We just had to read our keys. Ever since Monday, that was all we heard in our ear, all practice. Your keys, your keys, your keys. And I believe we did that tonight. Hey, hey, how about those